Today, we're gonna to be talking about how you guys can actually have a smoother playback experience inside of all of 0.2. So let's get into it. All of this is based off of the new caching system inside of all of 0.2. So to get started, all you guys have to do is actually make your sequence. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is actually set up your actual preferences for using the cache system. So to do that, just go over to the top left hand side, left click on the tools, go down the preferences, click that, or do a control plus to open it. Now you're gonna select disk, and now you're gonna see all the different options for where it's gonna save and all this different stuff. So if you look here, you have your disk management and you have this box right here, which is gonna control where it's gonna go and the basic settings of it. So if you guys wanna change location, just press on this browse button, it'll pop up a window, like a file management sorting window for whichever operating system you're using. Then if you guys want to check out the disk cache settings, click on it, and now you're gonna see this, which will have your location on the top, and then it'll show the maximum cache size. So this is the max size of caching that it's allowed to have. Then you also have other settings like automatically clear disk cache on close, which I'm actually gonna disable. You have your clear cache, so if you have a whole bunch of cache in it, and you don't need all of it, for, especially for this project or whatever, you can just clear it right there. Press OK once you have those settings done. Then you have your caching behavior, which includes your caching ahead and before. This is all based off the player head on the timeline, so this will cache it before and after based off of that. Now that you have that, press OK. So the next step is you might actually need to start looking at lowering the resolution. So for instance, if you had a really high resolution image, if you want easier playback, sometimes you can simplify it down so it doesn't show as many pixels and just uses the proxies slash caching system that it has has instead of using the final files and then when you export it will use the final files so what we can do for that is all you have to do is make sure you're selected on the sequence all you have to do is do a left click then right click on it go into the properties with a left click and now that you have this you have your video options your audio options as obvious and then you also have your preview. So this is where you're gonna actually be able to change the resolution. So right now I have it set to 1 12th of a resolution. I think we should just go to half. Um, we have our half float or our full float. Half float is just a little bit easier for your PC to process. And it shows right here what the actual resolution it's gonna be showing you at. And once you have that, press okay. And it should be able to change all of that right there for you. And now that you have that, now it's time to actually start doing the caching. So all you have to do is go into the sequence area, do a right click, go down to caching. It should automatically have this on, which is the auto caching. So when you're scrubbing through or whatever and you stop, it will automatically start caching before and after it. You also have a pause auto caching during playback, which can help with speeds and different things. So this just means when you're playing your video or whatever, it's not gonna be trying to do more caching of different parts of it while you're trying to watch it. Then you can do a cache entire sequence here or the in and out point, which the in and out point, you just have to press the I button for the end point and then go over and wherever you want in the timeline at the end, press the O button. And now in between here where the blue bar is, is the in and out point. So you could do it here and have to do like two or three clicks, or you can literally just do a left click on the sequence and then select if you want to cache the entire sequence or if you want to cache the in and out point. So I'm gonna try that real quick. Um, basically, if you wanna know if it has cached or not your actual video project so far, you can tell because as you can see right here, this is actually red, which means it hasn't been cached. Once it turns into green, it will be cached, which will help with playback and different things like that. So now you can see this green bar, which will help with the playback. It's a lot more smooth. It will stop playback is a little bit easier and it's just easier to run on your computer. It helps a lot with just being able to have a smoother experience with playing it back and being able to edit it. So with that said, we have a playlist over here with more all of 0.2 tutorials and we even have a video over here that YouTube recommends with you. And with that said, keep editing.